Hey, 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 happy day 721. Sharon Horn Nelson here, also known as Pajama Grandma. Um. In my pajamas, I've noticed I'm wearing these pajamas a lot lately. They're my favorite because they're warm and cozy. Now, you can't see <clears throat> that I'm totally wrapped up in a cozy red blanket. It was like 13 below last night. I don't even know what it is this morning. That's without wind chill. But it's downright cold here in Wisconsin. So, <clears throat> I'm bundling up. As I'm putting together, and I just called this one putting together, because whatever you're putting together, it requires some planning, some research, some um, questions to be answered. Now, I am putting together what I want to be a signature program, and I'm targeting an audience of women 50 plus. Why? Number one, I am in that group. Number two, I feel like we are an absolutely positively underserved um, part of the population and that we have special needs and desires and wants that are being unmet and we have to go to other places to have them met. I'm in a lot of business groups and entrepreneurial groups for women, but they cater predominantly to much younger women, younger women just getting started. And I'm like, well, there's a whole lot of us that have decades of experience that can be put to use that is totally underutilized. Talk about um, a group of untapped potential and untapped resources. Some of us have had long careers in businesses. Others have um, raised families and done all kinds of incredible things, but we're in a point of transition and change in our lives where we're ready to do something different, ready to maybe pay attention to ourselves and take care of our needs and, and follow our interests because we've raised our family or whatever else. So as I'm putting together this program, I realized that this is a much bigger program than I can do on my own. So I'm going to be looking for experts and other people and, and others to join me and help join forces to be a part of this initiative. Don't know what I'm going to call it yet. I think of experienced women or uh, experienced women with influence. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to call it. If you have any ideas on that, share. I would love to know. I did uh, actually post it and ask the question, what do you call women over 50? And I got all kinds of interesting responses, but most of them... Actually, none of them were useful at all, right? And then a few days ago, I was thinking about something. I'm like, well, geez, what do we have in common? Well, we're all experienced. We've all got lots of experiences. Well, it doesn't mean sexual exploits, of course, not in my experience, but it means experience in different areas and aspects of our life. And again, for each of us, it's different. So I was thinking about how do I want to structure my program? Do I want to structure around health, wealth, and relationships? Do I want to structure it around the seven key areas of our lives that we need to to have a handle on or at least not have balance because you know if you're a woman and you're over 50 I know you have enough experience to know that there is no such thing as balance in a woman's life it's it's an absolute complete false sense of holy grailness that does not exist and it's different for each of us balance for each of us is different um, that's the one thing about being um, a woman that's so different than than men we have to create so much more and do so much more with the time that we have that is expected of other people. It's kind of mind-boggling. Uh, so I'm, I'm working on that. I've got actually note cards, notebooks full of stuff, and I'm thinking about how do I want to structure and put a program together. I want to put together a longer-term program where I bring other team members in and we work together to help the participants to, to get what they specifically and uniquely need. For example, in health, I, you know, I've been dead and I'm still here, so I've, I've learned a few things about health. Even though I'm not a healthcare professional and I'm not a doctor and I don't play one on TV or the internet or in my real life, I have spent decades experimenting and, and trying things on myself to figure out what works and what doesn't. And bottom line is that that's what each of us, not just women over 50, but everybody needs to do in order to uh, achieve optimum health and optimum energy and if we don't have our health, we don't have anything. Uh, I, as well as anybody else who's ever had a major health problem or trauma, knows that nothing will stop you in your tracks faster than a health challenge. Uh, dropping dead pretty much dropped, stopped me in my tracks, right? Yet, here I am. So I feel like I have a lot of expertise and a lot of experience with health that I could share. But mainly in the areas of chronic pain, dropping dead, um, and, and areas like that, as far as you know, mental health, I, I know what works for me and I know what strategies and things that work for me, but I don't know what is advisable for others. And so I would bring in experts to help with that. Um, movement and exercise, that too. I mean, even nutrition. I know what works for me through decades of trial and error, but I am not a nutritionist. So we'd want to get people in to help with that as well. 
um, wealth. I think I've got a lot of experience in that area. But again, I am not the most knowledgeable in every aspect of, you know, uh, finances, running your own um, running your own business. Yeah, lots of experience with that. But how to best structure d different things and certain things for your particular situation. I uh, have a lot of acquaintances that are on disability and on fixed incomes, and they are very, very afraid to step out of that box. And it's a real fear because uh, one of my, my best friends has got thousands of dollars worth of medications that she needs to survive. And if she loses her Medicare, she, she has to make like tens of thousands of dollars double and then double that for taxes and everything else a month just to make up for that loss of insurance help with respect to her being able to live and function to do anything. And so it becomes this catch-22 where if you make more money, you lose your benefits. If you lose your benefits, you have to make so much more money in order to just survive. So everybody that's in that situation tends to get locked in to this cycle of poverty, this cycle of fear, this cycle of dependence on disability. Um, and so I'm not an expert in that, but I would like to know that if that's a problem or concern for people that we could call in and find experts that could help us navigate that situation and figure out how to help people that are in that situation so that they can find a way to supplement what they're doing and not jeopardize losing their Medicaid or losing their Medicare or losing their Social Security benefits or whatever, how that works, their disability benefits. Um, so there's all kinds of areas and that kind of ties health and wealth together, right? Then there's all the other aspects of running a business, owning a business, building a business, scaling a business. I totally can help with that. And with systems and processes and procedures, automation, that's totally my area of expertise. Technical, mechanical things. I'm an engineer, so I'm nerdy. I like that stuff. Uh, but again, there's areas with respect to wealth and you know, retirement and monetization and uh, residual income that I would like to bring experts in to help with. Uh, relationships, I'm gonna admit right now, <laughs> Relationships, I would need help with everybody with respect to this area. I, you know, I'm divorced. I've got two amazing children, but I definitely was not the perfect mom. I worked all the time, and I'm trying to make that up with my granddaughter. But you know what? We're all, we do the best we can with what we've got right now. But I would say personally in the area of relationships, if that's the area of the program that people really want in this age group, um, 50 and over, I would have to definitely bring in and bring together a group of experts to supplement and help with that area. Um, so I'm thinking about working on that today. And then I'm thinking about, well, what if we do a, um, a program that includes physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, um, financial contribution and relationships? What if we have a program that's based on those seven areas? You know, what areas would I coach in? And then what areas do I want to bring other experts in to help and coach and supplement in? And even the ones I coach in, I would, if I would interview experts and bring experts in live to supplement the program. So I'm just mapping out all of the different aspects of this program and what I'd love to see it include. And I love input on that. If you're 50 and over and happen to be a female, and I guess, you know, some guys, I seem to have way more male coaching students than I ever have female. And I learned, I was on a, a call about energy today. I was listening to a replay of a uh, a live launch that a friend of mine is doing and I realized that the reason that is is because where my energy is tends to be more direct and a lot of women have a hard time with that direct energy style am I gonna change who I am and how I show up no but do I need to supplement with some people that have maybe softer or lighter quieter energy than me absolutely positively so I'll bring people in with different energy levels onto the team as well so I was just brainstorming a list of all the skills that we could talk about and teach and train people on that you need to make your life work, right? Y'all need decision-making skills. How, how good are you at making decisions, making quick decisions? Some of us are really good and quick at it. Other people commiserate and can't make up their mind to save their life. And we find that, I find that in my own family. It's really interesting. There's four girls in my family and we are all similar in many ways, but we are so different in other ways. Uh, you know, I make quick decisions and, and very decisive, although I don't know, my sisters might say I'm not, but I totally do. Whereas I have a sister that cannot make a decision to save her life. Uh, and we all make decisions on different aspects or areas of our life quickly or slowly or differently than we do in some. But there's, it's a skill. Decision making is a skill. And every single one of us can learn to make quick decisions when it doesn't matter, right? When the outcome is not urgent, 
we can make quick decisions. And then there's other decisions that we need to all slow down for and, and put more effort into how we make those decisions. I actually wrote a book on uh, how to make decisions kind of a long, long time ago back in corporate America. So there's all kinds of topics like that that I'd like to cover and think about including in the program. But I'll probably, uh, number one, start putting the team together because I don't want to do this all on my own. It's a big commitment and it's a lot more fun when we work with people and work with team members. So look for that coming down the pipe as I start to, to uh, hit up amazing women that I know and see if they want to be a part of the process and a part of uh, the team because I think it would be really fun to have a team of like seven of us, seven coaches. I, I, I don't know why I'm being attracted to that, but I'm kind of attracted to the idea of physical, mental, emotional, spiritual contribution, relationships, and financial, all those aspects of our life because we need to bring them all together. And it seems like as I hit 50 and over, um, all of the things I'd put in place and built up until that point, instead of building off on them, I personally had a dead stop at 50. I dropped dead at 50. And that was primarily because my life needed to take a totally different direction than I had been running in. I had been running in one direction, which was the exact opposite direction that was right and good for me. And I think that I'm not alone in that, right? Anyway, that's it. That's all I've got. Oh, today we did um, one thing a day challenge. Of course, I'm doing a daily challenge for a year again with doing one fun thing every day. Why? Because I'm not very fun. I want more fun. I want to be more fun. I want to be less uh, <clears throat> direct and driven and stressful. So I personally am doing one fun thing every day. And whenever I do a challenge, I bring people along with me because why do it if it's just me? It's, it's actually more fun to bring other people along. So I uh, did the fun challenge today. Did the, uh, in my supersize your business group and page, I am in kind of a holding pattern because I've got 47 years of business experience, right? At, uh, in different industries, building businesses over a quarter century in corporate America. And I have all this knowledge and all this wisdom and all this that I can share with people. So I'm really reluctant to let go of the helping people grow and supersize and build their business, the business of their dream. I'm reluctant to let go of that. Yet, I'm really feeling more pulled to work with women like me that are in this crossroads and in this um, time of transition and transformation. We've got a whole lot of life left to live, right? My grandma just passed away this last year. She was just a month and a half short of being 100 years old. She was 99. So sometimes I think, oh my God, when I hit 50, my life's half over. Well, maybe it's half over, but you still have half of it left to live, right? And with technology and medicine and things changing all the time, although we don't know when we're going to go, we never know when we're going to die. We also know that there's a lot more things out there that are extending our lives. We're living longer and we want to make sure that the quality of the life that we're living is something that we're excited about, that we love. So that's part of why I want to put together a program for women 50 over, or over, 50 plus, and I'm just trying to decide what what should be in it, what components should be in it. Should it address all of our main, all the different areas of our lives, maybe some more than others. If financing and finances and making sure that we have our finances in order is our number one challenge and priority and question and concern, then more time and energy will be devoted to that in the program. If relationships are, you know, 10% of our concern, then 10% of the time can be devoted to that. Uh, and again, I won't be leading that one. Um, <laughs> communication and relationships, that will not be the one I'm leading. Um, so that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm working on. And, and I'm obviously excited about it as I drop all my note cards on the floor. I, I make notes on everything. It's kind of scary. Uh, but that's my process. That's how I work. So if I can help you in any way, hit me up in the comments below. If you are a woman over 50, I would love to just chat with you to find out what's going on in your life. What are your biggest concerns? What works for you? What's not working? Not to sell you anything. I'm not selling anything. I don't even have a program available yet. But I will down the road, and if you would love to, to share information and contribute to what that might look like someday, I would love to, to just chat or hear from you. I mean, maybe we can just text or Voxer or uh, just have a discussion in, in messaging or something. Or you can maybe give me a call. I am hard to get a hold of those, that, the call thing. And a secret, I absolutely do not like talking on the phone. I'm not one of those people that can sit and talk on the phone all day. I don't know why. I just got off the phone with my sister, so maybe that's what's reminding me of that because I have a sister that can talk on the phone for hours about nothing and just gab, and I am not that person. <laughs> so, more direct. Got to get to the point. Got to get it done. All right, have an awesome day. Again, if I can help you in any way, or if you'd like to chat about this, hit me up in the comments below.
Otherwise, à plus de